Hello, citizens, and welcome back. These are the player ratings for Man City 2, Everton 0 in the Premier League. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe. Let's jump into it. So Edison in goal. I mean, <laughs> Edison in goal. There was a moment where he rushed out. I think it was in the... Yeah, it was in the second half. Rushed out, didn't really need to. Nearly caused a mess. But other than that, he didn't really have anything to do. Uh, I don't remember him claiming any crosses. I don't remember him having to, you know do anything really i mean his passing is quite good he's nice and calm under pressure as he usually is because everton were pressing us more than we were pressing them so yeah i'll give him a seven um in front of him you got stones on the right hand side i thought we would been better in the middle today he has played it right back a few times and to be honest he does quite well um but i thought akanji should have been out there instead but stones did really well i heard a couple of people say that he should have been man of the match i thought it was good but i don't think he was better than any of the rest of the defense so i'm going to give him a seven akanji next um, good moments, bad moments in the first half, gave the ball away a couple of times, but again with Diaz, I think he kept Cavalu in a bait, and there was a moment where he did save, I think it was Aki when he came across flying in to stop them on the counter, I think it was from Young, so I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Middle, Diaz, I thought he was really good today, he started off as captain, um, I don't understand why he's not the captain for the team anyway, because I put him as captain in my uh, football manager, uh, but Diaz was captain, and I thought he played really, really well. He did have a few moments with Calvert-Loon where he got thrown to the floor, got back up, got on with it. He did cover really well Ake and Stones, to be fair to him. Um, and there was times when he was one-on-one, -on -one, uh, left alone with um, their, their strikers. And I, again, I think he did superbly. And I did, he did clear a few balls away. So his positioning today was really good for crosses into the box, especially from that right-hand side. So I'm going to give him a nine. Uh, Left-hand side, Ake again did really well. Um, no Guardiola today, but Ake... Yeah, he was good. He had Young on that um, side and Harrison as well, I think it was. Did a good job. Seven. Rodri, one of his better games. I do think his strength gets him out of a lot of trouble, but his passing today was quite sharp. Didn't really get forward enough. He had one shot where he went like 20 yards off of the bar from 25 yards out. What is it? It was world-class performance, but it was a good performance. It was a good standard Rodri that we expect. Seven. Nunes. My God, he was bad today. Um, I don't think he was as bad as he was when he was playing Wolves early on in the season, but he was bad. He's got to do better. I think he bottled it against Pickford when he actually got to the ball ahead of him in a 1v1. His passing was dreadful, and his head completely dropped when the crowd got on his back. I have to give him a four, and I think that might be actually being generous. Alvarez. <laughs> I don't get the obsession with Pep playing him in the middle. I do not get it. I, I don't get it at all. I don't see it. Because all he did today was give away a couple of free kicks from pressing. That's it. And he put a few corners into the box. Other than that, he did absolutely nothing. I'm going to give him a five. Bolden on the right-hand side. Disappointing because he got a hat-trick against Brentford. He scored against Everton last time. Played them at Goodison Park. Phenomenal player. Pepke's played him out of position on the right-hand side. Um, when he should be playing in the middle. And he should have played there instead of Alvarez or Nunes. Put one of them on the right. Um, I'm going to give him a six. Left-hand side. Doku. Poor start to the game, poor end to the game, decent middle, um, bit too predictable at times, got to learn to use his left foot, got to go on the outside more, but when he gets past his man, I mean, you have no idea what he's going to do, and sometimes I don't think he does as well. I think if he picks the final ball a little bit better and he can get a crossing on his left foot, I think he'll be a good player for us, but maybe he's going through that first season syndrome. Um, I'll give him a seven. Ahead of him. Haaland got his two goals, got man of the match at the stadium, probably going to get man of the match on Sky, and match of the day for his two goals. And he did take them really well, to be fair. But over the night, he was largely ineffective because he had to drop deep to get a ball. He was one creating chances instead of getting the chances, which is frustrating. But he did get his two goals. Didn't look match sharp, but when you're not match sharp and you're getting two goals when you're not involved in the game, pretty good result. And they were very good finishes as well. The right, uh, First of his right foot, then of his left. Thought Pickford should have done better with both, in fairness. Um, but I'll give him an eight. And that's it. My man of the match is Diaz. I, I know people are going to have complaints about that, but I honestly thought he was fantastic. Like I said, I think his positioning today with the crosses, I think the way he handled Calvert-Lewin, I think he marshaled the back line. I think it's one of his better games this season because I don't think he's been great. And I think it's one of his better ones. And I think with Stones in the middle with him to help him out, I think we I think we could have done a little bit better as well with a Kanji on the right instead. That's it. That's the play ratings. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe. Check out the match reaction as well. I think that's here, here, here somewhere. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.